What if one simple ad on Instagram could bring your next 100 customers? It's not just a dream, it's happening right now in 2025. And today, I'm going to show you exactly how you can do it too, even if you've never run an ad before. Check this out. Looks amazing, right? And the best part, you'll be creating one just like it in just minutes. By the end of this video, you'll know how to find the perfect audience for your business, design ads that stop the scroll, and use AI tools that make your campaigns smarter and cheaper. So stick around because this could be the ad strategy that changes your business. This is Brian from Website Learners and let's get started. We are going to run Instagram ads in just two parts. The first part is to set up your business for Instagram ads. In this part, we'll set up everything that you need to effectively run Instagram ads. This will help you easily reach the right people and grow your business. So to set it up, we are going to do three steps. The first step is to switch to an Instagram business account. To run ads on Instagram, we need an Instagram business account and it gives you access to tools like ad creation, audience insights and performance tracking to help you run successful ads. You don't have to create a separate account for this. You can just easily switch your existing Instagram account into a business account in just a few clicks. To switch your Instagram account into a business account, Open your Instagram app, go to your profile, click on edit profile, scroll down and select switch to professional account. Then click next. Here choose your business category. Since I'm running a clothing store, I'm choosing clothing here. Then choose your account type. Click next. Fill in your contact information. Click next and that's it. Your business account is ready now. Once you switch to a business account, let's go to step two, which is to connect Instagram and Facebook to the Meta Business Suite. This is like a central place where you manage your Facebook pages, Instagram accounts and other ad accounts. Now to run ads on Instagram, we need to have a Facebook business page and connect it to the Meta Business Suite. To connect it, just click the link in the description below and it'll take you to this page. Here click get started and log in with your Facebook account. Facebook is now connected to Meta. Now to connect Instagram, click connect Instagram. Now click continue and log in with your Instagram account. Click continue, then click next, then click confirm connection. So now we successfully connected Facebook and Instagram to the Meta business suite. Next, let's go to step three which is to create an ad account. An ad account is where all your ads are managed and organized. You need an ad account to create, run and track your ads on Instagram. To create an ad account, go to settings and click accounts and click ad accounts. Once you're in, click add, then click create a new ad account. Now fill in these details like your ad account name and time zone. Click next, select my business here, again click next, then here we need to confirm to add an ad account to our business portfolio. So just click here and click create ad account and your ad account will be created. Here you can add your payment information and click done. So now we have successfully created the ad account. Next you need to verify your business details. To do that go to all tools, then go to adwords manager and click account overview. Now you need to confirm these details to verify your business. First we need to add the payment method. So just click here, click add payment method, select the payment method you want, click next, enter the payment details, then click save. Once you've added the payment method, next you need to enter the business information and click save. Next, click on create Facebook page. Since we already have a business page, it will be shown here. Just click confirm. Finally, click on verify phone number. Click add phone number. Enter your phone number. Click next. Now select how you want to confirm through a message or a call. I'm going to select message. Click next. Now enter the confirmation code you received on your phone and click submit. So now we have successfully verified our business and set up our business for Instagram ads. 
Next, let's go to the second part of this video, which is to create and run the Instagram ads. To create and run your Instagram ads, we are going to do four steps. The first step is to set a goal for your ad. This step is really important. Setting a goal helps Instagram know exactly what you're trying to achieve. So to set the goal, click continue. And here you will find different goals for your ad. Let me quickly walk you through what each one means. Awareness is great if you just want to get your brand in front of more people. The aim is to make people recognize and remember your brand. Traffic is perfect if you want to send people to a website, an app or even an event page. You can choose engagement if you're looking for more likes, comments, messages or video views. Basically more interaction with your content. You can use leads to collect signups or contact information from forms, messages or even calls. If you have an app, this helps you drive more installs and keep people engaged with it. And then sales. Of course, if your goal is to get more purchases, this is the one that you'll want to go with. You can choose the one that suits your business goals. I need sales on my e-commerce, so I'm choosing sales. Click continue. So now we have successfully set the goal for our ad. Next, let's go to step two, which is to create a campaign for your ad. A campaign is the top level of an Instagram ad setup where you define the main objective of your advertising, such as increasing website traffic, getting more engagement, generating leads or boosting sales. The campaign tells Instagram what you want to achieve and it guides how your ads will be delivered. You choose manual sales campaign and it gives you more control for your ad, like choosing the audience, placements and the budget, allowing you to tailor everything to your business needs. Click continue. Then give a name for your campaign. This helps you stay organized, especially if you're running multiple campaigns. Try something simple and clear like January sales promo or spring collection launch. Now click here and you'll find special categories for the ad. If your ad is related to credit, jobs, housing or social issues, select the right category here. If none of the categories match, you can skip this step and click the next one. Okay, now we have created the campaign for our ad. So let's go to step three, which is to create your ad set. The ad set is where you decide who will see your ad, where it appears and how much you want to spend on it. So to create your ad set, we are going to do six simple steps. The first step is to set up the basic ad details. First, give a name for your ad set. This helps you keep everything organized, especially if you're running multiple ads. Next, you need to select the conversation location where you want people to complete the action. Since I want customers to make purchases on my online store, I'm choosing website here. Next, we'll set up the performance goal. Here you can select which action you want people to take after seeing your ad, like making a purchase, signing up or installing your app. Since I want to drive more sales on my website, I'll choose maximum number of conversions. Now that we've set up basic details. Next, let's go to step two, which is to create and connect Metapixel to your website. A Metapixel is a small piece of code that you can add to your website. It helps you track how your visitors interact with your site after they see or click on your ad. So let's click on create pixel, give a name for your pixel and click create pixel. Then you need to connect this pixel to your website. Just enter your website URL here. and click check. Based on your platform, Meta will suggest the easiest way to connect the pixel. For me, it suggests WooCommerce. And you will get a step-by-step -step instruction on how to connect the pixel. First download the plugin by clicking download and it will be downloaded to your computer. Now go to your WordPress dashboard, go to plugins, click on add new, go to upload and upload the plugin you just downloaded. Click install and then click activate and the plugin will be installed on your website. So just click on configure, click on get started and log in with your Facebook account. Now click next and your WooCommerce site will be connected to all the accounts you created earlier. Make sure everything is correct then enable automatic advanced matching. This improves tracking by using customer information such as emails or phone numbers provided on your website. Finally, click on continue and click on next. And that's it. We have connected the pixel to our website. Let's check if it's connected properly. To do that, we're going to install an extension on our website. So just click the link in the description below and you will get this extension. Click on add to Chrome. 
Then click on add extension and it will be added to Chrome. You can print the extension for easy access. Now go to your website, click on refresh. Now if you click on the extension, you can see that it has found the pixel we created and this means we are successfully connected the pixel to our website. Let's go to step 3 in the ad set creation which is to set up a conversion event. A conversion event tells the ads manager what action you want to track on your website like a purchase, form submission or sign up. For example, if someone buys a product from your website, they land on the thank you page after completing their purchase. We'll use the URL of that page to let the tool know that every time someone reaches it, it should be counted as a successful action. So to set up the event, click on event setup. Then click on open event setup tool. Here enter the URL of the page where you want the event to be set up. I'm going to give the URL of my thank you page. And click add events. It will take you to this thank you page. And as soon as you reach this page, the event setup tool will appear. You can track the entire page URL or specific actions like clicking on a button. For this example, I'll track the page URL. Click on it and select the event type, which in my case is purchase. Once you've selected the event, click confirm. And you can see that we have successfully created the conversion event. Now, if you refresh the page and open the extension, you can see that the event is active. In the same way, you can create events based on your business needs. Now, let's go back to the Ads Manager. Scroll down. Click on Conversion Event. And here you can see the purchase event we just created. Just select it. And we've set up the conversion event. So, let's go to the next step, which is to set the budget for your ad. Setting a budget helps you control how much you spend on your ad to reach the right audience. Scroll down. Here you can set a daily budget which limits how much you spend on your ad per day. This is a great option for controlling your spending and monitoring your results daily. And once you have set the daily budget, you can also choose how long you want the ad to run. For example, if you are promoting a limited time sale, you might schedule it to run for a few days. Once you have set the budget, the next step is to choose your target audience. This is where you specify who can see your ad. You can target people based on their location, age, gender, interests, or even their behaviors to ensure your ad reaches the right audience. So to do that, just click on edit and enter the location you want to target. Then select the age range and gender of the audience you want to reach. And you'll see an option for detailed targeting. Here you can be even more specific by adding interests and behaviors of the audience that match your ad. For example, since my ad is about clothing, I'm going to add women's clothing and dresses to target people who are interested in these topics. Once you've set the audience settings, finally you need to choose your ad placements. You have two options here. First is automatic placements where the ad manager decides the best places to show your ad across Instagram, Facebook and other platforms. This option is great if you want meta ads to optimize everything for you. But we are specifically posting ads on Instagram, so we need to select manual placements. So let's select it. Now unselect the other platforms except Instagram. And this lets you exactly choose where your ad appears, like Instagram stories, reels, or the Instagram feed itself. Once everything is set, click next. And that's it. We have successfully created the ad set. So let's go to the final step of creating our ad, which is to set up and publish your ad. To publish your ad, first give a name for your ad. Then choose the ad format you want to use. Instagram offers different options like single image or video, carousel, collection. For my ad, I'm going to choose single image or video. Once you've selected your format, Next, enter where you want the audience to be redirected after they click on your ad. So I'm going to add my website's URL. Once you're done, next, it's time to add your creative content, which is the ad content. Just click on set up creative. Since I've already created a video for my advertisement, I'm going to select video ad. Click next. 
you write a short and engaging text and a heading that grabs attention and tells people what your ad is about. This is the first thing that people will see, so it is important to make it interesting and relevant to get their attention. If you need help writing the ad content, we've created the tool that can give you the perfect content based on your business. So to get the content, just click the link in the description and it'll take you to this page. Simply describe your product Enter how many ad copies you need and click create content. And as you can see, the tool has generated a professional ad content for us. Now copy the primary text and paste it into your ad setup. Then add the heading. Next, add a call to action button like shop now or sign up depending on your ad's goal. This button makes it easy for your audience to take action. Click next. Here click upload and add the video that you've created. Once you've added the video, click next and then click done. Before publishing, double check everything your visuals, captions, call to action, and the links to make sure everything is perfect. Finally, click publish, and your ad will be published. Instagram will now start showing it to your audience you selected, and as you can see, this is how your ad will look on Instagram. So now we have successfully created and published an Instagram ad. Now that ad is live, it's time to track and see how it's performing. So next, Let's see how well our ad performs with the audience. And to check that, let's go to Event Manager and click on Data Sources. Here you can see the graph showing all the activity like the page views and the purchase from your ad. This can help you understand what's working and where you might want to make improvements in the future ads. So that's it guys. This is how you can advertise on Instagram. I hope you like this video. So make sure you subscribe to Website Learners to see more videos like this one. Did you know Website Learners is now available on WhatsApp? Whenever we have a new video, it comes on this WhatsApp channel. So to join us on WhatsApp, just scan this QR code and click this link. And click on this follow button here. And that's it. You'll now receive new videos on WhatsApp. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.